Hey miners, Mining King here. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to tune your CPU mining rig. But first, before we get into it, let's have a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Hero Miners Fluxpool, where until the end of September, there are absolutely no mining or parallel asset fees. Also, your parallel asset fees are paid instantly with each unlocked block. Wait, there's more. Hero Miners has given away 500 flux to a lucky winner, so now would be a great time to mine flux at HeroMiners.com. Details of the giveaway are in the description below. Due to the nature of flux, a complete 0% fee results in 30% more earnings when compared to other flux pools. You can check them out at flux.herominers.com. Come see firsthand what makes Hero Miners a great place to mine. All right, so as you can see, we are currently mining right now. Um, I will be going, so to, to let you guys know, to be able to overclock this like you would, you know, like your GPUs, you actually have to tune this in the BIOS. You can't openly tune CPU mining rigs in HiveOS. So first we need to have our keyboard and then we need to actually restart the rig so that way we get into the BIOS. So to get into your BIOS, you're gonna wanna like pretty much spam the delete or F2 key. And all the BIOSes for the motherboard will definitely look different. This is the typical ASUS. This is a ROG Strix motherboard. So I'm going to teach you a few things. I'm going to teach you how to undervolt this. I'm also going to teach you how to overclock it. Um, I will do the memory because I know some people don't, you know, may, may not have any experience building computers themselves. So they don't know how to do some of these things. So we'll go over the basic stuff. And this is, you can also use the memory feature if you're building yourself a Windows computer, but I would not undervolt and try to overclock on your CPU unless you really know what you're doing for Windows because if you don't know what you're doing you can get a lot of blue screens uh, on the undervolting part. So we're going to go over to our AI tweaker and these these pages here the AI tweaker they will look they will vary from motherboard to motherboard but they will essentially have some kind of AI tweaker some kind of overclocking thing here up in the you know tabs here so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come down to the memory here and this right here this speed is at ddr4 3200 megahertz and that is because that is the memory speed i have now i'll show you what speed you'll be at when the rig first comes online right so you will typically be either at 2133 or you'll be at um, maybe, what is it, 2400 megahertz. You'll be somewhere in there, right, when you first boot the rig on. So when you first, there, when the CPU mining rig first boots up, you're going to want to hit the delete key, right? As So you're going to want to come down, you're going to want to, I like to manually overclock my memory because sometimes I find that the XMP profile doesn't work you can use the XMP profile um, to be able to overclock your, your memory that way. I prefer to do it manually as I have less issues with it personally. So now to set your memory speed, it will depend upon what memory speed you bought. So if you bought 3000, you need to come down here to 3000 and select 3000. If you have 3600, you need to come down to, you know, 3,600. If you had 3,200, you need to do 3,200 like I have, right? So you need to set the speed for whatever the memory is rated for. Um, also a little side note with memory, if you're using different sticks, it will tune itself to the lowest speed, but it also can, can, it also can create instability if you're using different speeds and different, you know, manufacturers and memory sticks like that. So just a little warning there. So to continue on for the memory, right? What we're gonna wanna do is, is we're gonna come down here to the DRAM voltage right here. So right here, you can see I have it set at 1.35. This will probably be at like 1.25 or maybe even less. I find 1.35 is really good. If you're getting instability, right, with your overclocked memory, now realize this, your memory is not guaranteed to work at the overclocked speed. Make sure you check the 
motherboard manufacturers supported memory types and speeds because sometimes certain speeds from certain manufacturers are supported on some boards and not on others. So they will say exactly what SKU works on this motherboard. So be sure to check that. But you can up this to 1.4 volts safely if you need to, if you're having, um, if you're in Windows, if you're having blue screens of death, or um, if you're having instability with your hive. Um, I'm good at 1.35 volts. So we're gonna, um, that's what you're gonna wanna tune this to. And all you have to do is you just hit 1.35. Three, five, and then you hit enter, and then it will come up here as 1.350 volts. And that will complete the memory side of things, right? So the next thing we need to do is we need to come in here, and what I like to do is, is the CPU core ratio per CCX, and these are the ratios. So these are the controllers, right? There's two different controllers for this, right? So there's uh, 12 cores and 24 threads in my CPU and six of the cores are on this side and this one controls the other six, right? So what you want to do is, is a good safe overclock and it's going to depend on the algorithm too. CPU mining is very, very advanced. You may have to tune this down. You may have to give it a little more voltage. It's you have to tune for each different CPU mining algorithm. Some like lots of L3 cache, some don't. So it will vary. You will have to play with this a lot. I'm mining Victorium right now. I will be changing coins eventually, but I'm just using this because I already have the flight sheet and I know how to tune the coin pretty good. So um, what you want to do is, is you're going to come over here and you're going to type in 38 point zero zero right and this and this value will probably be different this will all be auto right here this will say auto and this will say auto and then all you have to do is you just come over here and highlight it and then you just click in 38.00 and 38.00 okay and there you go you are all set we're going to go back to our ai tweaker and we're going to come back here to the other page that we we're just on. And we're going to want to come down here. So this is going to be your CPU voltage, right? The VDDR CR CPU voltage. And usually this will be on auto, right? There's auto, manual, and offset mode. I have it set to manual. And I can't remember what this was at. I think it was like at 1.15, maybe. I don't remember. I don't recall. But so all you got to do is you set it to manual, and then you'll get this option down here. And all you got to do is 1.0 for the volts, right? So we have our we have our memory voltage tuned. We have our um, CPU uh, voltage tuned as well. So here's our voltages. And then you'll come up here. We have our core ratio is at 38. Okay. And then our memory speed is also set. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over to exit and then down here, save changes and reset. And then it'll ask you, I did now there'll be a bunch of options here showing you everything you changed. Obviously I already have it. So there's nothing to change, but you'll see a bunch of the changes you made here. And then you're going to want to hit click, hit enter for OK. And then the rig will sometimes when you do the um, undervolting and overclocking like this, the motherboard will power cycle a few times. So it's not a big deal if it power cycles, right? Um, it, it might do a few boot, uh, boot loops and then boot up again. If you do have a problem, though, and let's say that when you're tuning this, that you boot loop and then it goes back to the BIOS. That means that you need to either add a little voltage to something or adjust your overclocks as maybe it's too aggressive, right? So just keep that in mind. CPU mining is 
much, much harder to actually overclock. And as you can see, we're in Hive OS and this 750 Ti is just to give it video out, right? Because this is Ryzen, there's no video on the CPU. So in order to get this, I have to have a external video card and I just have a spare 750 Ti that I'm just not using. So anyways, guys, that is a quick tutorial on how to set up your CPU mining rig. And she stays pretty cool in here, even though it's pretty hot. Um, I do have all the fans off. I usually have this fan going on right here, as well as I will sometimes turn this on if it gets pretty warm. Um, I turned them off, obviously, because uh, I'm recording right now, so I don't, I don't want all the fan noise while I'm trying to teach you guys how to CPU mine. But there you go, you can see she's already started up. She's hashing away. It's looking good. All right, guys. This is the Monikin giving you the most ashes, and I'll see you next time.